This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a fairly basic tutorial. We are going to take some polygon shapes and uh, take it from there. So we're just going to have some fun. All right, let's uh, check it out. Here we go. Okay, guys, so I was asked to do a um, street lid and I saw that there was already a video on YouTube doing something similar. So I decided to do one, but do the modeling a bit in a different way. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, uh, let's see, a polygon pipe. We're going to have to zoom in and we'll increase the subdivision level. Um, actually, yeah, we'll do that. We're going to control A, we're going to go in, let's do 30, that's fine, okay? I'm going to hit R to push it down a bit, something like so, and then I'm going to jump in from my top view, I'm going to right click on a face, drag select the bottom, delete it, we're going to go in, right click on an edge, double click on that one, and double click on that one. And we're going to hit W and we're going to pull that out. And I want it to be at an exact measurement so for my top view. I'm going to hold down X and snap it. All right. Now we want those two to be closed up. So we're going to go to mesh and uh, fill hole. And there you go. And what we're going to do next is we are going to take one of these. Hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to move this over. Now, the way we're going to do this is, uh, is a good question. <laughs> yep, and the way we're going to do this, because I don't want these two phases to be connected in a way that we cannot use them. So let's hang on. I'm just going to go back one step. I'm going to right click at vertex, drag select these, hit R. And I'm going to push them together like so. That's kind of the idea here. All right. And then we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to control D to duplicate and W to move over like this. And we just want these to touch right there. Okay. And then we're going to hit uh, shift D. Let's see, we've got three, six, let's do eight. All right. Now, what we're going to do next is I want these guys. So this one and this one, I'm going to go to mesh and combine. I want them to be bridged together. So what I'll do is I'll take the center face here, that one and that one. I can delete that. I'm going to right click at the edge, double click there and shift, double click there. We're going to go to edit mesh, bridge, option box. I want a smooth path and curve. And let's see, subdivision 20 should be enough. Let's uh, give this a try. Okay, not too bad. And I'm going to repeat those steps for the other guys. So I'll just uh, quickly pause the video and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I got that. Uh, looks okay. Yep. And what we're going to do next is we're going to combine these. So we're going to go to mesh and uh, combine. And then we're going to select it and we're going to go to uh, deform and nonlinear and uh, bend. We're going to rotate a bend handle. So I hit E to rotate and hold down G A to flip it over and then we're going to flip it some more in this direction and that should be good let's check we're going to go to our bend handle in our attribute editor and there you go so we're going to set that to 180 degrees which will give us this shape here looks cool we're going to drag select all of it we're going to go to uh, edit delete by type and history so we can now take that, hit W, move that away, drag click all of these curves and delete them without messing up this guy. All right. We're then going to jump to uh, this view. We're going to hold down X and actually let's go to modify and center pivot first. We're going to go to X. 
and we're going to snap it right there. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in, take another polygon pipe, hit R to scale out and down. We're going to go into our attribute editor, set subdivision level to 40. Why not? Uh, let's see, 40 is fine. Um, the thickness, however, 0 0.2, still too much, 0 0.1. We are going to scale this guy down, so it could change. Let's have a look here. That seems to be okay. Let's um, do 0 0.05 maybe. Yeah, that's more in line with our shape here. Okay, so let's have a look at the zoom in. We're gonna adjust the height from this view. Hit four for wireframe mode. So it looks like we got the same height here, which is good. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, another polygon. First, let's do with the height. And subdivision level, we'll do 40 there as well. We're gonna look at it from a top view. And I think I wanna bevel this guy first before we do anything else. So we're gonna right click at an edge, double click on that and go to edit mesh and bevel. And I will set the fraction to 0 0.1, uh, which means that we will have to raise it slightly. So we'll do that and we'll hit W, we'll bring that up to about there. We'll fix the, uh, the bottom there. That's no longer in line. Vertex just on this guy. On. Object mode. Object. Come on. What's the problem? Hang on, guys. Sometimes my can be very flicky. Okay, vertex drags like these. Hit W, hold down V, and snap them down there. Okay. So we got that guy. Um, and what we're gonna do with it is we're gonna make sure that it's centered and it seems to be. We can add some additional detail here if we like while we're at it. We're gonna to go to insert edge loop, option box, multiple, and we'll do two. And then we'll go in and we'll add two right there. Q on our keyboard. We're gonna right click at a face, click and shift, double click. Control E to extrude and W to push down. Actually, that will cut in. Yeah, we can do that because it's not gonna be positioned here. So we're gonna go to object mode. And now we can start to put them into place, which will require some adjustment, but that's okay. So we're gonna move it in there. That's where we want it to fit. So we're gonna have to hit R to scale it down. So it will fit. That is pretty close. R to scale down just a little bit more. We're gonna have to adjust the height. Hit R to scale up, and that is my beveled edge. Vertex. And maybe we'll be able to bring this down, but we'll have a look. All right, so object mode, let's have a look how that looks. It's not bad. It looks like it's not touching at all. So we're gonna increase that size just a bit. That should be better, okay. Then we're gonna jump to our top view. We're gonna select this guy. 
we're going to hit the insert key, hit W, move the pivot point down, and we're going to snap it to that center point there, and hit the insert key again. Okay. Then we're going to hit Control D to duplicate, hit E to rotate, and hold down J as we do that. And we're going to start right there. And then we're going to hit Shift D and Shift D to copy that over, which will give us this. All right. Now, because we want to have a little bit more decoration here, um, at least I want to, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate, and W to move out. Jump to our top view. I want this to be quite a bit smaller, so we're going to go to uh, Modify and Center Pivot. R to scale it down. W to move that in, and we need to move it up, as you can see. Right there. That's a good position. We do need to adjust the height because we scaled it. So we're going to hit R and we're going to scale it like so. And now the thing is whether it will pan out with the uh, um, the way that these are set up. Okay, and I'll explain what I mean. Hit the injured key and hit W to move that pivot point. Hang on. We're going to hold down X to snap it to the center. Hit the insert key again. Control D to duplicate. E to rotate. And hold down J as we do. Okay, so we've got one. And then we're going to hit Shift D and go all the way around. And that pans out perfectly. Okay. So then we're going to copy this guy here, Control D to duplicate, and R to scale out. Make sure it's a snug fit, like so. We're going to check the height. That's the outer rim of this thing. So it's allowed to be a bit thicker. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, right click and go to Edge. I'm going to select them both. Go to uh, Edit Mesh and uh, Bevel. Let's do 0 0.15, which is not enough. 0 0.3 maybe, a bit better. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Insert Edge Loop, Option Box. Make sure we're at Single Setting here. And let's add one on top and one close to that. And then we'll do one here and one here. Okay. Q on a keyboard, right click Face, Select and Shift Select. Control E to extrude and 0 0.02 on the thickness that's coming out should go in minus 0 0.02 just to add a little bit of detail and we can do something similar with this one Control E and W to push down like so and this guy I want to smooth so come on we're gonna hit three to preview so I need to add an edge at the bottom there right there Q on a keyboard go to come on object mode and mesh and smooth okay so now if we select this guy and go to mesh and uh, combine and we'll go to Modify and Center Pivot. We can hit E to rotate it, hold down J. And there's an example of what you can make, okay?
that's all there's to it guys so uh yeah uh, hopefully you enjoyed this if you have any questions as always let me know and that said don't forget to hit that like button subscribe button and see you guys next time bye well thanks for watching and before you go please hit that mh button to subscribe okay see you guys next time bye